updates. We begin with breaking news in Newfoundland and Labrador where in-person voting has been cancelled. The province is reverting to mail-in ballots. Let's bring in our Atlantic correspondent Ross Lord who joins us. Ross, we know the province is now reporting a variant of the virus and the province reverted to the highest alert level because of the surge in cases and now they're suspending the election? That's right. They are suspending in-person voting for all 40 ridings and they will not reschedule in-person voting. So I talked to the Chief Electoral Officer, Bruce Chalk, a short, short time ago. It is going to shift exclusively to voting by mail using special ballots. Uh, Newfoundlanders and Labradorians will need to apply uh, for those special ballots by Monday, February 15th, and they'll have to have their completed voting kits back into Elections Newfoundland on or before Monday, March 1st. Ross, other provinces have managed to pull off elections during a pandemic, B.C., New Brunswick. Did the leaders just not anticipate the surge in cases? I think that's part of the equation for sure, because you have to remember that uh, other than a cluster and an outbreak last spring, Newfoundland has largely stifled uh, the virus. And they've had a lot of days they've had little or no COVID-19 cases. Uh, the new premier calls the election to try to get a majority for his liberal government. And then all of a sudden, uh, within the past week, this outbreak explodes. And according to the chief medical officer of health in Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, because it is the variant first identified in the UK, spread extremely rapidly. You know, these case counts, 51 day, 100 yesterday, um, uh, you know, dozens every day. They are phenomenal, and it's really shaken people there. And, uh, you know, because of the, the state and the level and the escalation of things right now, they just said, no, we, we can't do this. We're going to switch everything to mail-in ballot because the province is essentially going back into lockdown like they were last spring when the pandemic started. Before this latest development, there was so much confusion surrounding the different parts of the province being able to vote in person, others not being able to. Quickly take us through that. Yeah, so plan B was that all of the uh, ridings in the St. John's area and surrounding communities on the Avalon Peninsula, that's uh, 18 ridings, they would not vote uh, tomorrow, which was the scheduled election day, and they would vote at some uh, undetermined later date, but the other 22 ridings in the rest of the province would vote tomorrow. Uh, we had scattered uh, reports of, of some cases elsewhere today, and uh, combined with the discovery that this variant uh, was the one that was first identified in the UK, uh, they said, no, we're, we're just not going to risk it anymore. All right, Global National's Ross Lord on the phone with us tonight. Thanks, Ross. The province recorded 50 new cases today. That bumps its active COVID-19 case number up to 260, the highest it has been in Newfoundland and Labrador since the pandemic began.